Hello, this is Jane from J Rod Photo Art, and today I've got a new uh, neoprene lens cover from outdoorphotographygear.co.uk. Sales at outdoorphotographygear.co.uk is the email. This is for the Nikon Z 180 to 600 VR lens. This just came out a couple weeks ago. I have used several of these on other lenses. They are a great company with very good pricing and a very good product. So here's the lens. Nikon Z 180 to 600. I've got a, um, a big lens uh, adapter plate on here, Arca Swiss. I bought one that's got both quarter inch and three inch screws. It goes on here good and tight. So, but so what I like to do, I'll open this up. What I like to do is lay out all these covers and see where they line up. As you can tell, there's a. Uh, no instructions in here, but the website does have some great information. There's probably some other videos out there too. All right, big to small. Let's see. What we got here? I'll line these up here. This one's here's. This is the most definitely. This is the lens collar. Most definitely. This is for the buttons. Buttons. Lens collar. Smaller, smaller. All right, let's go. I'll take the hood off. I'll lay this down like this here. So, yeah, I'm thinking this has got a little bend to it, wider this way, I'm thinking, yep, lens collar, this guy, these are about the same, buttons maybe, this guy's going to be in here. Another small one here. Here. Lens collar. Now, this one's for the buttons. Let's see here. This is why it's good to figure this out before you start putting stuff on here. Let's see here. Definitely the first one here. This one's lens collar. This one should be in here. Maybe I can lay them down like this. Definitely lens hood. Ah, there we go. There's another. Here's the buttons one. There we go. Buttons. This piece. Let's put this a little bit. Like this. Got these look like and this one's a hair bigger. Look like this. 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 Let's see here. He's going to go in between here. <clears throat> Alright, so this is looking good. This is going to go here. This is going to go here. I think I've got it lined up. There we go. Everybody can see that. Definitely for the buttons down here. <clears throat> now I will go ahead and take the. Let's see, let me take this off. And uh, let's take this all off. This is tricky. Make sure you loosen these up at the same time. Two screws. Alright, you got it here. Alright, let's start with uh, lens hood. This is going to be. Is there a tape? 
taper on it. I'm going to put it on like this. I'm not too worried about all the seams lining up. I'll just get this guy on here. They're going to move around a little bit anyway. So tucking and pulling. pulling but it goes on there just fine not too tight not too loose it's definitely not going to go anywhere okay tweak and tune this and you put a finger under there and get it all lined up so you don't have to keep tucking it in maybe so you can still see the dots for alignment to put him on pretty simple Alright, now, if I take, let's see if we take this off, loosen him up, because <clears throat> you want to go from, pull him off, he's loose, okay, okay he's off for now, alright, so we're going to take this first piece, the, the taper is about the same, so he's going to come on like this. Pull, pull, pull. It's the first time, of course, doing this on this lens, so... Okay, if we cover up some of that. Good not to have two long fingernails. You want to scratch up or... And that goes right on there. It's going to wiggle a little bit here and there. The main point is, of course, to protect the lens to a certain degree. It does keep the heat off of it. I'm not worried about the seams lining up. Alright, we're going to drop the next one on here. Finessing. Buttons, buttons, buttons. Look at that, they all line up good. Like I said, I'm not worried about the seams. I'm not a big button guy, but they're there. Totally accessible. Line him up like that. Looking good, looking good. They'll all wiggle a little bit here and there, but the point is, of course, they're this is gonna be the next one. They don't, it doesn't look like it's got a taper. Maybe it does. I'll switch it this way. Maybe a hair this way. So let's, uh, it is easy to put the lens upright, but not too bad. Alright. Try to grab it with the edge of your thumb fingers so you're not digging your fingernails into the lens. Internal zoom most definitely is nice when doing this. With an external zoom, like on my Sigma, can't cover. You can cover up. It comes with a piece to cover that up, but then of course you've got to keep it zoomed out. So that just doesn't work. Another fantastic way for this lens. All right, so let's make sure these are the same size. 
one, two, wider lens. Uh, I got this thing here. The lens collar is going where? He's going up here. So the lens collar, this little guy here, and then the buttons. All right, so we're still on a roll here. Grab the next one. I don't want to pull on it too too tight, or I don't want to stretch it out. So I'm not. I want to pull on it. And have my whole hand in there. You can still easily see the, the zoom numbers in here. You get used to it, though. You know where it is. Six hundred. Yep. Boom. All right, that's in there fine. And you've got the focus here. Let's grab the next little one here. Next in line. over there now you'll know if you put it all together but it's kind of out of order there but that's why I like to line it up from left to right right to left put them all on there they ain't still moving good let's see all right there's the next wider one well I'm gonna cover him up that's quite all right let's see this is the cherry's check for a little bit it seems like maybe a hair bit of a taper but no this one's a flat area anyway. Grab him. Sorry if I moved this off camera a little bit. Sorry about that. But this one's a little tighter. There we go. Like this. Like this. Like this. He's right in there. There's the focus is still good. Nothing here. There's the zoom. We've got buttons still moving along. All right, so the next one is going to be the foot. So let's take a look at the foot because there's a little hole here. We've got the foot. And then, ah, oh yeah, these pieces. So this is on the bottom. So this, I believe, is going to go a little stretch. Yes, this is going to stretch at the bottom, as you can see. And that should go across. Let's see, so if it's like this. Bring him up like this. Bring him up around. Let's see, yeah, he's gonna come down like this. Let's see. A little bit more this way. Maybe I got this backwards. Let's see. Yep, try on error. So I see. Yep, it's totally backwards. So, because the one hole was further up, so it looked like this, and switch. It's okay. As you can see, it really only goes on one way. The lower one, I probably could have seen that. I looked at it a little bit better. That one's that way. This one's this way. So you can still get your strap in there. Perfect. Alrighty. Let's see about the best way to. There we go. Loosen up a little bit, maybe. This better go loosen up. Let's set it down on. There we go. You have to open it up. Let's see. There's our little mark. There's the markings. It's in here. Marking. Marking. Right there. We'll have to adjust that possibly, but there's the marking. I'm going to tighten them up for now. Maybe if I see, um, if this is like this, let's see, a little off. Yeah, I wish it, I wish the Nikon lenses had a little notch in there where you know it sat on there perfectly, but I'm going to line it up like that. I think that's correct. If that's correct, then my zoom should be right here. Ah, crud, it's not. It's this way. This is the top of the lens. Let's go. 
Look at this. It's more like this guy. There we go. The numbers are on the top here. So that's, that's good. Tighten them up. It's adjustable, of course. Let's see. A little tiny bit of space in here, but that's fine. Most of the lens is protected. Did I do this right? Let's see. This looks a little thicker. There we go. Just do a little pull and stretch. Almost looks like this should be on this side. A little bit extra room there. But that's the way it would go on this way. Looks like I can't go inside out. If I flip that around, then it would be backwards. I already flipped it around. Okay, so I'm almost there. Got this little guy. It's gonna slip on here. I wonder how this is gonna fit. There we go. Tight enough just to put over here. Right up on there. Very nice. And lastly, this guy, of course, you can see the buttons here. It's going to slide on right here. Oh, you can still get to the buttons through the plastic. I don't touch these very often anyway. Wow, okay. Let's, uh, there's my dot, there's my dot right here, on top. Solid. Yes. Of course, it's not. I need a little bit. Of, a little bit there. Solid to solid. Solid right here. There it goes, locked in place. So. Not so difficult. There it is. Uh, this is the outdoor for photography gear. Oops. Outdoor photography gear. Co.uk lens cover for the Nikon Z 180 to 600 lens. Gives it a little bit of protection. Got the zoom right here. You can hear it rubbing a little bit, but that's just the fibers. Internal zoom, of course, that's not hurting anything. Focus ring back here. You still kind of see your zoom markings there. Still got the buttons up here. These are acceptable. Let's try. Let's switch the lens hood around for storage. It's a little bit of pain if you want to think. There's my dot. There's the dot. Line him up like this. Locks. Sits in the place. There you go, YouTube. This is James from J-Rod Photo Art. I just installed the outdoor photography gear lens cover. Once again, super awesome company. They respond to the emails. They ship very quickly out of uh, the UK. I've done three or four of these now. Well done. Outdoor photography here. Well done. There you go. Signing off. Have a great day.